What's up guys, Armadize here, and recently in one of my videos about the i5-3570K and many other videos, you saw me use a overlay to display my FPS, my VRAM usage, and stuff like that. And some of you guys had questions on how to do this, so today I'll be showing you guys how to display your FPS and things like that in your games. So first things first, we're gonna jump into this website. This is guru. Uh, I'm sorry, guru3d.com, and um, here we're just gonna get the MSI Afterburner. Now we only need to get MSI Afterburner if you already have MSI Afterburner installed. Then you need to get Riva Statistics Tuner uh, Server. But if you don't have anything installed or you just want to get a newer version, you can just download one of these right here. Just scroll down. By the way, I'll post a link down in the description below where to get this. So just go there and you'll, t you'll, be, you'll be taken to this website. All right. So here we're just going to get the beta version. You can get the stable one if you want, but I really don't uh, find any differences between them. So I'm just going to get the beta one. Now this, you can just extract it or just double click and, and it's going to be installed. Now again, it's just is going to be like a regular installation so just go through it you know install where you want to install and here is a very important part where you want to install the Riva statistics tuner server um, so again this is what you want if you want to be as you can see provides frame rate monitoring so that's what we need I'm just going to click next and install this so we are going to run the MSI after burner now it looks like this for me but for you it might look different so let me just change this up a little bit um, but if it looks different for you it's probably because you're using a different interface so i'm just going to go ahead and change it back to the default one so this is what it's supposed to look like right here okay so now to show your statistics or monitoring you're just going to click on settings here and you're going to click on monitoring so here we are and uh, here in this window, we are going to select what we want to be there. So let's say I want to have GPU usage there. I'm going to click on this and then click on show in on screen display. And this is what's very important. So you want to click here and sh click on show on screen display. Now, what else you can do? What I like to do is to customize it a little bit. So I like to over um, I'm sorry override the group name. So for the group name, I'm just going to call it my graphics card. So GTX 1070 Ti. So that's good. And next I can actually do this for the same thing. So I can, um, again, name this the same GTX 1070 Ti. If I want the GPU temperature, obviously I'm going to show that. And let's say that's all I want. Maybe also I want to see, um, the frame rate. So frame rate right here, there's two. Oh, that's frame time. Okay, so I'm just gonna find this, enable it here, and um, show it on screen. Okay, now if you want even further customization, you're gonna go ahead and go to on screen display. Here, you can actually find yourself a uh, hotkey that you want. So I'm gonna set up uh, Alt and plus O. So that's fine, and click apply. So now, when you click Alt plus O for me anyway, then it's going to toggle the display. So that's good. Um, now, if you want even more customization, you can obviously do that. Just click here, go to on screen display and click on more. Okay. So here we have another window. As you can see, this is Riva statistics, uh, statistics server. And here you can customize even further so I can actually zoom in, you know, make it bigger. So I'm going to zoom in for the video. I can actually put a shadow filter as you can see. So it's easier to see. And that's pretty much all I want. So once you're done, you can just uh, click OK. And now we just need to open a game. OK, guys, now we are in game. And as you can see, I've made the overlay a lot bigger so you guys can see better. And I'm in The Witcher 3 right now. And I'm just in the menus. So as you can see, the GPU fan speed is not going too high. But anyway, yeah. And speaking of that, by the way, I added a few more lines here. I added GPU fan speed. I added i5-3570K. That's my processor. I added RAM. And that's pretty much it. So when you override the name, for example, for temperatures and usage, I overrode the name. So now it shows up in one single line. If I added the GPU clock in the same overrode, uh, um, sorry, override uh, name, it would show up uh, right here, just next to the GPU usage. So that's how that works. So pretty much that's, you know, that's it really. I mean, <laughs> that's as much as I can tell you, I mean, uh, you can press uh, Alt O, that's what I chose to be as a toggle. So boom, 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 there we go. And um, obviously, um, 
make sure that you're running MSI Afterburner or along with the RTSS um, to make sure that it's showing up. Now for some games this will not work. I know that some people were having trouble to run uh, Rewit Statistics Sooner and MSI Afterburner with uh, Windows Store titles. So if that happens, then you really just, there's nothing you can do, but for some games it may not work as well. But what you can try to do is try to go into windowed mode. So you can tr try pressing alt enter to go into windowed mode for some games. And uh, maybe that will register and then MSI Afterburner and the whole statistics thing is gonna show up. Um, but other than that, if you, ha if you guys have any questions, then post them down below. I'll make sure to answer all your questions if you have any. And that's going to be it for this video. So if you liked it, then press the like button and subscribe as well to the channel for more videos. And I'll, guys, I'll see you later.